Hello, I'm Mark Baer. You're watching Your Town TV. I'm with Sandra Gray, educator, artist, my friend, and a fellow uh, board member of uh, Access Monterey Peninsula. So welcome. Thank you. So let's, uh, first of all, life as an artist, and I want to start with uh, 2016, and you were a champion of the arts. And let's let's talk about that process, and let's talk a little bit about that. Let's start with that. Well, first, someone has to nominate you as a champion of the arts. They do all kinds of really exciting things as part of this process. They interview you on uh, with a videographer. They uh, make sure that you get a nice headshot. They um, make sure that you have a nice outfit for the big gala. They even will pay for that if you want them, want them to. And they take you to Macy's with uh, 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 your own shopper to help you find an outfit. And that was really fun. I'd never done that before. Uh, the gala itself is such an honor. Everybody is so nice to you and gives you all kinds of attaboys and props. And, and I really, really enjoyed myself. My family came. I had uh, people from as far away as uh, Lake Tahoe and Reno and Las Vegas. My my father was there, my, my husband and my son and my daughter. We had a wonderful time. So it's a, so you're in a, this is a big room, mm -hmm. uh, about 150 uh, people, uh, maybe more. I think it was more than that. Yeah, I think, <laughs> what is it? It's a couple hundred people. At least. Three, three four hundred people, yeah. maybe. It's a big room. I keep forgetting. Huge. All these, uh, I, uh, so, so this is the arts. Uh, Paulette Lynch is uh, uh, executive director of, uh, of the Arts mm -hmm. Council. She's one of our, our hosts on this show. And... Uh, so I've been going to that gala for <laughs> for years, and it was a big deal. Uh, and not only is it a big deal, and not only is it a great moment for you, mm -hmm. but it's, um, I don't know, in the last several years, it really makes you proud to be of this community, mm -hmm. and you have the sense that we're really part of a, a, um, a substantive art world. Right. So h how did you get started? Let's, let's talk about you as an artist. Well, I think I've always been an artist. I can remember my earliest memory of, memory of being an artist is in the backyard in my grandmother's house, and she ra raised my, my uh, two brothers and myself in Stockton, California. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I used to dig in the backyard because there was clay in the bottom if you dug far enough. And I'd make things out of the clay that I dug up. This is uh, this is as a little girl. As a little girl, uh -huh. yeah. And my mother uh, saved a picture that I had that I drew from the living, from the kitchen door of a philodendron plant that was hanging over the kitchen sink, and it was just a pencil drawing, but it was done in perspective. And I used to get um, all kinds of opportunity to show my art. My teachers always displayed them in the classroom and. One of the teachers recommended me to the Hagen Museum there, and they had a, a student exhibit, and I was a part of it with a wire sculpture I did of, with coat, wire, coat uh, hanger wires of a kangaroo. Oh, wow. <laughs> and it was on display in that museum, so that was a great honor for me. So it just sounds like uh, one of the things that is a hallmark of what you do is whatever available materials are around, you're yeah. able to see, and that's kind of, a, that's a, a great skill. Well, one of my real um, slogans is, I specialize in not specializing, because I'll get, after a while I'll get tired of doing one particular thing and have to do something else. And I'm able to do a lot of different kinds of media, and if I'm doing a lot of photography, well, I want to do some sculpture maybe, or if I'm doing a lot of painting, I want to do photography, <laughs> whatever. Right now I don't do very much painting. I haven't done any painting in about three years, I think. But I do a lot of photography, and I feel like I paint with that camera because mm -hmm. I could, my eye was developed with all the drawing and painting that I've done over the years so that I can see something that's a, a really good picture. 
And one, one craft or one skill set informs another skill it set. It sure does. Um, how, how are you educated? Let's talk about your uh, education in art. I, my, I majored in art at the University of Pacific in Stockton, mm -hmm. but I minored in teaching. I started out as, uh, uh, I couldn't make up my mind between teaching or uh, speech therapy. And I decided on teaching because I didn't like all the different classes that you had to take to be a speech therapist. But I kept the, um, I think we had to take anatomy and physiology, and that was helpful for art because uh -huh. I got to draw pictures of bones and muscles uh -huh. and things. So I really enjoyed my classes there. And I graduated in 71 and uh, came here. And, and ever since. Ever since I've been here. Yeah. <laughs> and so um, let's let's take care of some of the business first before we move on. So this weekend, let's talk about the uh, the art walk. Yes. Okay. Uh, I founded the Seaside Artists Association. And hold on, I'm going to I am going to hold this up. Let's see if uh, there we go. Just yeah. um, there we are on camera. We can see that. Okay. Now I'm going to put that back down. <laughs> okay. So so we're at the Seaside Artists uh, Association. Yeah, I designed okay. that logo to and printed had it printed to be used last year for the Seaside for, no for the um, open studio tour that the Monterey County has that used to be with Artists Equity but now is handled by the Arts Habitat uh, group organization. Uh, but we've been uh, the Seaside Artists Association is established in order to give seaside artists more opportunities to display their art. And the Art Walk, which is an open studio tour, was established because we didn't get too many people coming to the uh, seaside area during the open studio tour by Monterey County. Uh -huh. So we started our own, uh -huh. and we call it Tour Taste and Talent. Uh, Dave Pacheco started that, so the city of Seaside was sponsoring it. Now we've kind of gotten away from the city, but we're still a part of it because I work for the city, and uh, we still are kind of, in a way, <laughs> a part of that. Uh -huh. It's it's really nice to, you know, every everybody thinks of artists as, as kind of lone beings, mm -hmm. but it's hard. It's important to have a community. Well, the first thing an artist wants to do when they finish something is share it. Right. And one of the ways we. I want to make sure that artists have as many ways to share as they can. And this art walk, well, it's not really, a, well, you could walk because there are, all of our uh, locations are pretty close together. Last year we had uh, quite a few people biking. I hope the weather holds up because it'll be such a lovely thing to bike between the different locations. This year, we're, for the first time, we have two days this weekend. It's not just Saturday, it's Saturday and Sunday from 11 to 5 and the locations can be found on our brochure on our um you can look on google and just google seaside artist tour 2017 and you'll Let's find see that. that again <laughs> if you look on google look for seaside artist tour 2017 and you'll find all the sites and that particular uh, website has uh a little bit of information about each artist so you know what you're going to see and you can use it to help you find your way around. Well, it's interactive. And because um, we're coming close to the date, if you don't see it this year, look at it next year. Right, it's an <laughs> so, annual so, so event. So this is an annual event. Yeah. Let's look at some pictures. Oh, well, I already talked about the Seaside um, Artist Tour. Um, and I, that's the brochure I kind of designed. Okay. Now I've learn to uh, delegate and I have another person in the group that makes the brochure for us and we send it off and have it printed. And then I have my favorite painting of a uh, African woman, but she's eating a, a melon. Uh -huh. And I like that because of all the colors. Uh -huh. I just love color. I don't like I don't even like black and white photography. I like color photography. Yeah. If you see me do it black and white it's because the design is so important that I don't want anybody to be distracted by the color. But, but you like color. And, and what, what, what medium is this? What, this what, is acrylic, acrylic on canvas. Okay. And it's about mm, 20 by 40 in size. I painted it 2005. 
I, I was doing a series of uh, paintings for the uh, Black History Month exhibit at Seaside City Hall. Uh -huh. So I did all of them on Africa. And I did about four, you know, five paintings about Africa, and this is my favorite. Okay, now, now I'm looking at the Easter eggs. Okay, I chose that because I wanted to give credit to Seaside, the recreation department, because Seaside has always got something going on for the residents to do, especially the seniors. This was for the youth, and we had an egg hunt. They call it the golden egg hunt because if you find a golden egg, you get to go trade it for a big Easter basket. Oh, well, there you go. And the kids, eggs are just put on top of the ground so you, they can find them. There were, I think, a thousand kids out there looking for those eggs, and they found lots of them. So now I'm looking at a pot with a... Yes, I call it the melting pot. Ah. Uh, and I designed that because Seaside is a melting pot. Okay. And I was taking a class in, um, on Adobe Photoshop, and I didn't use... I used this, and I can't find the, the end product that I made, but I used this design in that, in that class. I got an A, of course. But <laughs> it was, uh, I, I think of Seaside as a melting pot, so I designed it to display that idea. Now I'm, I'm looking at a uh, photo of Helen Rucker and Leon Panetta here. Right. That was taken at the NAACP membership banquet, okay. and that was last month. And uh, Helen Rucker was one was a main honoree, and Leon Panetta was there, and he was sitting just about right next to her almost. And they got up and were talking. This was at the end of the event when they're standing there talking together. He was very popular. Everybody wanted a picture with him, but I took that one because I like pictures when I go to events that aren't posed. I take all the posed pictures because everybody wants them, and I was hired as a photographer for that. I do a lot of photography for different uh, different uh, organizations. And then I must say, um, if you don't know who Helen Rucker is, uh, go to YouTube and Google her. I, I was fortunate <laughs> enough to do a, an interview with her that I'm, I'm very proud of, and, and she's a phenomenal person. So moving on here. <laughs> okay. And I'm looking at this tree. We're well, I went to a picnic this weekend at Toro Park. It was a FedEx picnic. Uh, my, I have a, a friend that, uh, that works for Fred, FedEx, and she invited me to the picnic, and I was sitting there, and I looked up at this tree, and it's full of woodpecker holes. And each, almost each one of them is, full, is uh, packed with an acorn. Oh, wow. And so all those little holes you see in there have an acorn in them. And <laughs> I, I even took a shot of, and uh, honed in onto the acorns in the tree. So that's what squirrels are doing. Yeah, they're putting their, they're <laughs> filling those holes full of acorns. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's an oak tree, and they have some really gorgeous oaks at and Toro Park. Okay, my next one is a Monterey County Fair. One year they decided to have a big cattle drive with Longhorn cattle, and they drove them from the light on uh, Fairground Road up to the fairgrounds and then turned into the fairgrounds with cowboys and it, I stood out in the middle of the, of the street and took that picture of the, so of the Longhorns. That's a great shot. So yeah. how do you honor history? Um, well, there's different events at Avery Gallery. I'm the director for the city of Seaside. Okay. And I uh, plan all the events at Avery Gallery. We have, I'm also uh, tied, of course, to the Seaside Art and History Commission. and we have an, uh, an exhibit every other year now. It was every year, but now it's every other year, uh, honoring the history of Seaside. Also, uh, and I always help with that exhibit because that's part of my job and it's something I love. Uh, also, Black History Month is in February and, and I, I'm usually a big part of that exhibit. And I try to make sure I get lots of artists to uh, display their art then. Also, when uh, I took pictures like at the fairground event, they haven't done that again. Oh, that wow. was a one-time wow. thing. I thought it was going to be an annual thing, but they haven't done it again. So y you know the importance of grabbing the, the, the moment. Right. Um, as an educator, what do you tell emerging artists? What do you, what do you, what do you kind of instill in them? 
Well, um, just keep trying. Don't give up. It's hard, especially all the no's that you get when you try to get into galleries. There's other things besides galleries that you can participate in. We have an a annual event which really gives emerging artists a chance in November. It's called the Adult Competitive. I call it the Fall Competitive because I didn't want anybody to think it was <laughs> some kind of adult thing where we, did, we display all kinds of strange things. But it's a very good place for uh, emerging artists to be Okay, and I'm going to, to I'm going to end this. First of all, how do they see your work? Give me your website one more time. My website is Gray's Art Picks, spelled uh, Gray's, like my, my name, G-R-A-Y-S, Art, A-R-T, Picks, P-I-X, at, uh, dot com. That's my uh, actual website. And I have a link to Flickr, where I have over 20,000 photographs of my art and my photography. So that's where I store all my artwork. So thank you for being here. <laughs> I'm with Sandra Gray. I'm Mark Baer. You're watching Your Town TV. <laughs> thank you very much.